This morning I woke up and I guess I made the mistake of watching the news earlier in the day. And I listened to some politician. I forget who it was. It doesn't really matter. You hear it all the time. Basically informing me that I am a racist, which I already knew. I've been a racist since 2016. But now, since the election of 2020, I've become an insurrectionist. And I thought to myself, how did that happen? How did I go from being a just run-of-the-mill guy to being a racist insurrectionist? Where did I go wrong? So I started thinking about my, my views. And I thought I'd start in 1980, because that's when I think politically I could, I was, could really say I was conservative. I voted for Ronald Reagan. 1972, I voted for George McGovern. But somewhere in between there, I'd become a conservative. And I tried to think about all my views that I ha had in 1980, which is 40 years ago, and compare them to my views today. And what I concluded, without going through each and every view, is that actually over the last 40 years, I've shifted slightly left. My views on foreign policy have stayed the same. Economics have stayed the same. Basic rights and fundamental liberties associated with Republican government have stayed the same. I'm still a committed market capitalist. But my views have changed on several social issues. If you look at LGBTQ, XYZ, whatever the current run of letters is, I am actually have moved to the left. 40 years ago, I would not have accepted the idea of gay marriage. Today, I don't have a problem at all with it. And same with other aspects of gay rights, as long as they're not you know, pushed where they're actually gay privileges. I don't have a problem with that which I would have questioned, I think, 40 years ago. I think because I've been teaching American history for the last 30 years, not that I ever approved of slavery or anything like that, but I think as someone who's had to teach about slavery, the institution of slavery and what went on, I become, if anything, more aware of the damage slavery did, not just to African Americans, to be sure, but to the whole country, to the whole fabric and the history of this country. So if anything, with regard to that, I moved to the left. And there's some other social issues I would also say I've kind of drifted a little bit to the left as well. So that leads to the obvious question then. If you take me in 1980 and I drift slightly to the left by 2020, where did I go from being a fine outstanding American citizen to being a racist insurrectionist? And the answer, of course, is I haven't changed at all. I've moved a bit to the left. I wouldn't say a lot to the left, but a little bit to the left. I lean a little less right today than I did 40 years ago. But I became a racist, not because my views about one race have changed, but because I had the gall to vote for Donald Trump in 2016. I mean, I had a friend I'd known since we were, since I was 13 years old, we'd been friends. Suddenly I was a racist and he cut me off and wouldn't talk to me. Why? Have my views today any different than they were when we were 13 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or 60? No, they hadn't changed at all. I just had voted for Donald Trump. I didn't really vote for Donald Trump in 2016. I didn't even, I voted against him in the Florida primary in 2016. I voted against Hillary Clinton. I voted against the continuation of eight more years of failed Obama policies, which is all they were to me. That's why I voted for Trump. But that was enough to make me a racist. Four years later, 2020, I voted for Trump again. But not because I love Trump, I do appreciate Trump. I do think he's done a very good job. But because the people they were running against him made Hillary Clinton look more palatable. 
And ultimately, we ended up with a, a senile old man who doesn't have a clue what the hell is going on. That's what I was voting against. And yet now, because I voted for Donald Trump, and I have some questions about some of the things I've seen with our electoral process, I'm suddenly an insurrectionist. I didn't storm into Congress. I wasn't even in D.C. I didn't even take part in local protests. I was home running errands and recording a YouTube video. But that's enough to have made me an insurrectionist. I'm now being labeled a domestic terrorist, a racist domestic terrorist. How is one to make sense of that? I didn't move further to the right, quite the opposite. I've moved a bit to the left. But that's not enough for these people. You have to conform. You have to be exactly like them. There is no, there is no middle ground, let alone an opposition. There can be no dissent. If you dissent, if you have any doubts, you're a racist. You're an insurrectionist. You know, Brzezinski, Zbigniew Brzezinski, Mika's dad, wrote a book, one of probably his best book, The Permanent Purge. He said, this is a, the purges that happened under Stalin weren't some sort of aberration, you know, communism gone bad. They were a permanent part of the thinking of these people, the thinking of the nomenclature, the thinking of the apparatchiks. They constantly have to purge one along ideological lines. If you want to be a true Bolshevik, you know, you're going to be like uh, Molotov, Stalin's foreign minister. I mean, his wife was sent to a camp and he approved of it. Why? Because he was a good communist. You can put my wife in the gulag, it's all right. She violated some thought, made, committed some thought crime. That's hardcore. And that's where we're headed. It's not enough to drift left. If you don't go far left, you're a racist. Just as with Stalin. If you didn't follow his line, you were a right-wing deviationist. And then after he purged and killed and gulagged all the right-wing deviationists, then he went after the left-wing deviationists and got rid of them until there was nobody left. And then he went after the Jews. That's where we're headed in this country. I haven't changed. I didn't become a racist. I didn't become an insurrectionist. They've changed. The people running this government or about to run this government in a week, or this, is it this week, next week, whatever it is, They've changed. You know, it's often said the Democratic Party, you know, we didn't leave the Democratic Party, but the Democratic Party left us. That's not entirely true with me. It's partially true. But, but you know, the whole concept of government in the United States today has left me. That's why I posted a video a day or two ago. We live in the bizarre USA. Where, you know, down is up, up is down, left is right, right is left, black is white and white is black. Good is evil and evil is good. And in that bizarre USA, I suddenly find myself, not because any view I've hold, I, I hold has changed. If anything, my views, again, have shifted slightly to the left. And yet I find myself called, termed, being accused of being a racist, an insurrectionist, and a domestic terrorist. It's all over, folks. It is all over. Game over. We need to wake up. And that's not, you know, the Nazis' slogan was the Deutschland der Wache, Germany awake. But long before the Nazis used that slogan, Abraham Lincoln used that slogan in the election of 1860. The groups that supported Lincoln were known as the Wide Awakes. And that's what we need in this country. We need a modern, wide awake movement. Maybe we need a new party, Republican Party, 
was a new party in 1860, just beyond a few years before. Maybe that's what we need. Well, make what you will of the rambling thoughts of a racist, insurrectionist, domestic terrorist. And I guess in today's environment, I feel like it, it, it's a point of pride to say those things. I mean, it's a point of pride to be able to say that I've been shadow banned on Twitter, locked out of Facebook for the last 24 hours, I'm back on now, and had my first video taken down by the, the truth and consequences or whatever the hell they call themselves on that YouTube faction. The trifecta, the hat trick. You know, I am a domestic terrorist. I am an insurrectionist. I am a racist. And the fact that I can laugh about it just tells you what a joke bizarro America has become. But let me know what you think in a comment. Share the video with your friends if you like. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification button so you wanna, you'll know when I post new videos. Subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, keep fighting.